morning, very early start. This one, five to four, which can only mean one thing really. We've come out to a Fenland drain to try and catch a tench. I've only been here about two minutes. Uh, just come to my pre-baited spot, which I baited with sweet corn a couple of nights ago and a little bit of hemp. And I've just seen two tench roll. Um, I've caught bream in this swim before. But yeah, just thought I'd come out for two or three hours this morning to do a bit of float fishing, just catch whatever comes along really. Should get some rud, probably some bream, skimmers. But it's tench that I really want. So yeah, let's get it set up and have a go. Not got hardly any gear in this morning. Gonna use my uh, 13 foot tench float. Which is a lovely rod to play fish on. Only going to be fishing like five yards out. So, oh, look, there's another tench rolled out there. I can't get it in quick enough, really. Goes the kingfisher. Amazing what you see out here on the drains. Such a nice place to be early in the morning. I can use five pound line. And a nice two and a half AA waggler, straight through to a size 12 hook. We fished two, one or two grains of corn on that, probably two to avoid all the little rud. Sweet corn out there while I plumb the depth. Lovely. Do you know it's about six foot, but it's better to have it spot on. I'm going to use an SSG to plumb it rather than a big heavy plummet. A big heavy plummet pulls it right into all the blanket weed, whereas a little SSG just plums it so it's sitting just on top of the blanket I mean, just gently pinch that on there so don't want to damage the line that's about right I've got that spot on I think it's just touching bottom with me but I think I'm just going to stick the sweet corn. There's already fish here so all right let's get it out there shall we. Oh, that looked like a good tench roll. Oh, oh no it's a rut. Is it? Move my shot a bit closer to the, get it through all these little ones. Thank you. 
the little ones leave it long enough for something bigger to find it. Looks like a nice tench, doesn't it? Oh, blimey. Did I fight hard? Yes. How lovely. Oh, that didn't take long, did it? That's an absolute clonker as well. Look at the size of that. with that. I just took a couple of quick picks on my camera and uh, slip that lovely tench back. See what else happens. It's only about half four. They do generally only feed at first light really. Well that's when you're most likely to catch one. So I'm only planning to fish till maybe nine at the most. But yeah. Good start. Let's see what else is out there. So simple, this float fishing. You never know what you're going to get on the drain as well. Which keeps it interesting. Stevie Wonder would have missed that. thinks it's a tench. It's fighting like a tench. Come on. Lovely. God, that's a good size one as well. I thought that was going to be another tench, but... <laughs> a light tackle can't really complain. It's probably a three pound bream, something like that. Right, 
See you later, mate. Oh, that's my nettle snotty. Another pesky rod, look. Pesky rod. Rather on the patrol. Oh, oh, oh. It's very pretty and all that. Not exactly what we want, is it? Mr. Rat. Well, it's uh, really peeing down now. I think I might um, pack up in a minute. This is supposed to get some really heavy thunderstorms this morning. I've eked it out till half seven this morning. I thought I might get a few bites because um, it's overcast and drizzling and that. But no, not had a bite for a couple of hours now. So definitely glad I got up early, set my alarm for quarter past three, got down here for about four, had that tench at half four, shortly followed by a nice brim. So yeah, set out to do what I intended and that was to uh, catch a tench on the waggler. So yeah, can't grumble really. Obviously it would have been nice to catch two or three, but that's fishing for you. Never always goes to plan. Definitely uh, be coming down for another go though. But um, yeah, sadly I'm gonna uh, call that a day and get home before I get totally soaked. <laughs> catch you later.